headphones. Here we go, guys. It is, uh, well, I would say it's a beautiful day here in the arcade, but it's, you know, my son, He's he's been throwing a fit for like... Yeah, roughly an hour. Oh, he gets up and walks into the kitchen. No problem. I was wrong. Um, this is also today where, as you guys quite literally saw on Twitter and Facebook, I basically was really pissed. I was super angry. My son took a plastic bucket like, no bigger than this. I'm pretty sure we've seen it in some of the past streams where it's it's a blue plastic bucket and he just broke our other baby gate. He just broke both our baby gates today. And he smacked, he just threw the bucket into our TV, which is, there's the wife over there, onto our TV. And it's essentially in that bottom left corner. Um... When you turn it on, it's all smashed. It's smashed. It's done. Like, I thought I could get away with, like, you know, being lucky and, like, being able to, like, turn it on and turn on Netflix and all that good stuff. And no, like, nothing pops up on the screen. So it's like, ah, uh, you know, that, that TV didn't come cheap three years ago. I bought it three years ago. It had a warranty. It lasted... The warranty lasted till fall of last year. It was a three-year warranty. When I started college, you know, I was like, cool, this is a benefit to the family. You know, the wife, the kids, if we have guests over. Hell, we'll be able to watch a Super Bowl on a big 55-inch screen. Yeah! But what I didn't realize at the time is I bought a dumb smart TV. You couldn't surf the internet. You could only use it for things like Twitter, Facebook, look at YouTube. And it was like... It, for for as much of it being a smart TV, it was a really, really dumb smart TV. But man, man, him smashing it. I mean, it's bad enough. Um, this window right here. Um, uh, this one. Yeah, that one. I'm pointing at it now. Um, essentially, he broke the panes in that one. I had to pay. I had to shell out eighty dollars. For one of my double panes. One. That wasn't both of them. They said the whole window could cost me almost $200. That's just one window here in my apartment. Maintenance was like, yeah, you know, that's going to be, uh, you know, 80 bucks for one window pane. And, uh, yeah, enjoy. I was like, great. And then he broke my TV. Um, they already broke a keyboard. Which I bought two. I got two great keyboards, and I'm pretty sure I can use that that first keyboard still. I let it sit and dry out, and I threw it away into our 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 parts bag, so that way, if I ever positively needed it, maybe I can go back to it. Um, but yeah, it's it's been a really really rough day, especially when someone on social media is like. You know, you find out that your 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 friends or people you you talk to on a regular are like, call the police or You're, he's beating you, right? Like, no, I I can't I can never put my hands on somebody. I would have to physically be attacked in order to put my hands on somebody, and I would have to be in a state where I'm protecting myself, my family. The misses, you know, game mom over there. And, uh, you know, I would have to be in that kind of a situation. And um, I can tell you where I live uh, has put me in that situation a couple of times when we first moved here. And now we're looking at having to protect ourselves from our neighbors again. Um, only because of incidents in the past. And you guys have seen our drama on Facebook. I'm pretty sure, you know... I, I, I put the drama up there so that way if you guys know why I'm angry you, and you guys you know understand why a stream is late you you know why a stream is late you know why I may not be streaming today or why I may not be you know making YouTube videos today that kind of a thing and my son is just pissed 
And I I'm more pissed off about the TV. We're going to have a destruction video uh, after this one. So I hope you guys stick around for that. I'm, I'm just going to take out all of my aggression on that TV. It was a dumb, smart TV. It w it That investment lasted um, while it did. I didn't expect it to go as long. I didn't expect the TV to last as long either. I was like really surprised about it. But yeah. Um, so yeah, this is this kind of frustration. This, this Twitch dad. Twitch dad's parenthood. Um, Twitch parenting. Uh, this... This is something that I want to show. I want people to understand. When my son's like this, it makes it really hard to broadcast. I can't. This is why I had noise gate on for such a long time. You know, for two, three days, some points. And I never noticed a clip drop with you guys on video. Maybe that's because we're getting out good sound on video. But to you guys in the Discord, or those watching the streams live weren't completely catching me in audio. Maybe it just wasn't, uh, you know, transferring well enough. Maybe it just wasn't picking us up. Maybe I wasn't loud enough. I don't know. I don't know, folks. And that's, that's what I'm trying to get out is this is tough. This is really tough, especially when you have children, guys. When you add children to the mix, it gets even harder. I can't be professional. I can't have a green screen uh, in, in some aspects. I, can't, I can only be as professional as my capabilities. So seeing the room here, I know a lot of broadcasters who don't have a green screen. So don't let a green screen be stopping you guys from streaming, making videos on YouTube, all of that. Um, recently, me and the wife have been getting together, and we've been also talking about food challenges. That might be another YouTube channel. Uh, you know, Game Key Eats! Or Game Key vs. Food. You know, that kind of thing. We might, you know, whenever we can pop up videos, not every day, maybe not every week, maybe once out of the month kind of a thing. Um, you know, granted, we are budgeting. We are making things work. We are doing the right thing. Especially when school's in. And when I go to TwitchCon, um, <laughs> friends, I hope you guys are ready to eat some really good food. Because, um, I keep hearing about In-N-Out Burger. And I want to go. I've got friends who work there. I've got, uh, I've seen the book, the In-N-Out book. I know about the secret menus. I know about all that crazy stuff. And I'm like... Hmm, good eats, let's do it. <laughs> so yeah. But yeah, being being angry. It's it's one thing when you're in a real legitimate argument with your significant other or you're really pissed off at your kids and you're, you know, you're disciplining them, whether you're, you know, yelling, screaming, you know, giving a, you know, swat on the butt. Or, you know, trying to, exp trying to explain in the best situation to your children or your significant other, hey, you screwed up, this is, you know, this is what you did wrong, it's not okay. When it comes to your significant other, we all know anything can happen. Okay. And it's, it's one of those things, guys, like, um... It, it, it makes it so hard. I want you guys to understand it's hard for a guy like me to say, Hey, you know, I'm going to go buy that TV. I'm going to go get you guys giveaways. I'm going to go drop all this money on stuff. I got I to gotta think about my family. I got to think about me. Um, am I up for whatever the challenge is? Am I up for whatever, you know, we're doing with the misses? Are we up for whatever is going on? You know, and, yeah, I get a little angry. Yeah, I get a little upset. But I hope our culture, our society hasn't become so PC that men are not allowed to be upset. I hope, I hope I'm allowed to be angry when my TV got busted. I hope 
I'm allowed to be angry when the wife fucks up, like, you know, uh, 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 our relationship dynamic, or, or like, I fuck up, and I'm just like, oh, damn, you know, that kind of thing, I, I hope, I hope I'm allowed to have real emotions, guys, and, and that's, that's something I want to get off my chest. Like, I hope I can have my own opinion, my own choice, my own expression of emotions, my own me, my own being, as a human being. You know, I stream, I YouTube, it is an outlet for me. It is, I'm able to get out my frustrations. I'm able to be happy in like five minutes after having a really bad day. Or, you know, maybe I just want to rant. Maybe I want to rant. Think about that, guys. Maybe I want to rant. Maybe I want you guys to just listen, take the good and the bad, and decide for yourselves what was worthwhile out of the video. My son's going to bed. He's been throwing a fit for a little over an hour now. Like I want, I want to say like hour, hour and a half, roughly. It's it's gotten bad. I I don't know how long the video got. <laughs> Please, please correct me if I'm wrong down below in the comments. Um, also, let me know your guys' ways. Let me know how you guys handle stress. Let us know the situations you guys have been in where you are angry. You are frustrated. You're pissed off at your significant other. You're angry at your kids. You're frustrated in how you deal with it. Because this is my outlet. Getting with you guys... Putting it all out there on social media, throwing it up on YouTube, letting folks see it live on Twitch. You know, that's the unfortunate part sometimes. You know, not everything can be seen live. Like, you know, my my man boobies, my moobs. We can't we can't show these live. But I can flash you guys here on YouTube and be like, my man moobs got tattoos on them and, and y'all see it. You know. Clickbait. Oh, yeah, he wants it. Clickbait. I'm just saying, guys. I mean, it is clickbait material. And, and that's just what it is. That pounding you hear, that pounding, that's my son upstairs laying on his back just kicking the crap out of his door because he's been fighting sleep all day long. We got up, and he came down here and laid on the floor after he broke the TV. He laid on the floor. He's been wanting to watch TV all day. I'm, I'm not giving up a monitor or a webcam or a computer. I'm not giving up my hardware so he can watch Netflix. Like, this is one of those tough lessons. I want it to be a lesson learned. I want it to be an experience that my son realizes, like, I threw a fit, broke the TV. I continued to throw fits. We didn't have TV. Maybe I should stop throwing fits about TV. Like, I hope, I hope that registers. I really do. Oh, man, I hope that registers. He's, I mean, you know, he's three. He's about to be four. And it's... Man, it's just... It, it's that frustrating at times. I'm not frustrated right now. I'm actually over the initial anger of the breaking of the TV. When you guys saw those posts, I was... Furious! I was upset. Me and the wife were, you know, going at it over, you know, the TV being broken and what she could have done. She was right next to the TV. She could have stopped him from throwing the bucket, and she didn't. And that's that's where I was. I was livid. I was like, "You could have stopped that." And and that's where you know, I was pissed. I was super angry at her for not stopping the bucket because. You know, let let me see. I think it's in here. This this bucket, guys. This bucket. I mean, look. In relation to this, like clear ice cream container. Look at that. And it's it's thin plastic. You know, it it shouldn't have hurt, but like, there's these little like round ends on the bottom and that that could have been enough boom he swung it with enough force 
that this circle is in the TV. Let's see if I can turn it on for you guys. I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. When the TV is broken, I'm not joking either. Like, if you guys wanted to donate to give us a smart TV, feel free to do so. We got links down in the description below. But I am not begging you guys. I am not like, we need the TV! We need it! No, no, I'm, I'm not begging by any means. I kind of want this to be a lesson learned. But, man, with, with everything that's happened, you know, our bank... Uh, that still burns me up, man. Our, like, our bank account, we were robbed of, of a lot of money back in February. We were robbed. It took two months, and I couldn't stop it. My bank was trying, was investigating, and they sent me a letter. And, it, you know... My letter states that I got $196 and some change. Out of the $2,000 being investigated, I got $196 back. Period. End of discussion. End of the investigation. That was finalized. I got a tenth of what was stolen from me. So if you guys are streaming, YouTubing, using your bank account with PayPal or anything... Please, please go get LifeLock. Please get LifeLock. It'll be the best investment. 650, like 600, $650 a year to go get LifeLock and protect yourself for a full year. $650. You can have thousands in your bank account, folks. Thousands. Please, please get LifeLock. But I'm going to turn on my TV if I can find the remote. Alright. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Let me see. Can I can I does this show up on the screen? There it is. Yeah, you see that smash? Yeah. That it, the TV's done. It is over. That whole thing needs replaced, and at this rate, after three years, it's actually worth more expensive to repair it than it is to go get a brand new uh 55 inch smart tv you know it's a flat screen but oh man i'm i'm gonna thoroughly destroy that tv um the wife and the kids are gonna be gone tomorrow so yeah you guys are gonna see some destruction tomorrow so be ready for that up on that uh, YouTube. I'm going to completely take it out and just obliterate the TV. It's done. It's, it's, it's over. You know, um, it's a Vizio TV. Hell, I even have two uh, remotes for this TV, and I can't use it. I can't use them. The remotes are useless. So, yeah. Um, just, just, just putting it out there like that. I mean... I, I love all this. I really do. But my goodness, this, this is my gripes, moans, complaints, you know, uh, my angry, you know, my, my, maybe my first anger episode, like, ah! and then I just unleash, you know, I power up super Saiyan style oh! and I just obliterate our TV. That's, that's what we might be doing tomorrow. I could, I could put on gloves, I could punch it, I could slam our weights into it, I could beat it with a hammer, I could, I could stomp on it, I, I could do all sorts of stuff, guys. So, that's something to think about, and, you know, that's, that's what I'm looking at. Alright, folks, um, also, I, I do have, like, other stuff running in the background on my computer. Sorry if you guys heard that, or any of it, the whole time that we've been running this video. Um, again... More of my grapes, modes, and complaints for the Anger series. So feel free to check it out and get ready, guys, because anything that could upset me as a, as a gamer, as a parent, uh, as a consumer, my God, there's, there's a lot of things to be angry about. Ah! Yeah, we, we could be angry. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do, folks. So we will see you again in another episode. 
feel free to click the links down below. And if you guys want to save on games, feel free to use paladin-gaming.com. It's, it's the Paladin Gaming link is actually my referral link. Please save that at the cookie. And uh, it saves in your cookies, so when you click on it, um, purchase something, you guys gain points. And those points, for, uh, for every, like, what is it, two pence, two quid... I don't, I don't know what the difference is. It's like British pounds. It's 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 foreign currency, and it's like whatever the two pennies are, the two cents, point zero two is. Uh, for U.S. dollars, it's uh, pennies. Uh, uh, when you're looking at British money, uh, what is it, quid, pence, something like that? Anyway, um, you're getting uh, two points per two pennies, point zero two uh, currency you know, paid into buying, purchasing a game. Those points you can save up on Paladin Gaming for discounts on a new purchase, or you can just outright save them up and buy them titles, folks. Buy them. Yes, I said that. So that makes essentially a game for free. I'm I'm going to be doing that. So I'm I, I have it on my Twitch. I have it down below in the description. Just click away. Enjoy yourselves. We also have an exclamation G2A link in the chat. Feel free to use that if you do not see the games on paladin-gaming.com. Um, I do highly suggest using our exclamation G2A and our paladin-gaming link. Um, specifically if, if it's not on paladin-gaming because that is my sponsor. Our G2A one is also our, our, it's an affiliate link. I wouldn't say it's our sponsor, it's an affiliate. You guys still save an additional 3% wherever G2A allows it. And essentially, um, every little bit helps when you make game purchases. So we get literally pennies to the purchase. Pennies to the purchase of G2A. Um, Paladin Gaming is a lot more lenient with us uh, partners and actually, you know, gives us a little bit more of a, a better deal than G2A. And guys, if we get over 20 a month, every month, from here on out, over 20 purchases a month on Paladin-Gaming.com with our referral link in the description down below. I'll be able to do some sweet game giveaways. Triple A titles, folks. Triple A titles. But we have to have to make 20 plus referrals a month. It's 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 a have to, guys. Um, that's just the way the business works. We also have our no scope glasses referral link down below. If you guys don't know what those are, feel free to check them out right here. We've got some pretty sweet wireframe ones. And yeah, the winner of our caption contest will be getting his um, here soon, as soon as we can actually afford to mail them out. Um, but yeah, they help reduce eye strain, they make colors pop, and essentially, you know, Paladin, or uh, no scope glasses, guys, you guys are amazing. I mean, I got this, this hard case, this no scope hard case, and even a decorative uh, glass cleaner. Let me show you guys. Can you see that? Amazing stuff, folks. I love it. I love it. Good, good things, guys. I use these when I'm up for over 24 hours or when I'm doing, um, when I've been up since, you know, the previous night streaming, um, trying to do videos or just, you know, surfing YouTube and Twitch and I don't sleep. Um, that's something I do have an issue with here in the summer. And uh, that also makes things problematic for when I do 24 hours. My legs and feet suffer the most from being sedentary for a long time. So I, I do suffer. Yes, there's a little swelling. Um, and it makes me completely uncomfortable. And my ankles do uh, ha get a little pain, inflammation. I'm my wrists as well. I'm like I'm full. I'm fully. I'm full body sweating right now. Um, it's it's light. It's really light. But yes, guys, I want to let you guys know to to feel free to support as much as you guys like. And we even have Patreon on down below. Let me know if you guys would love to see some cool things in Patreon, because I want to make that way better for you folks, especially our supporters. I want to make. Um, gifts, giveaways, um, your, your, do your donation goals, 
more appropriate for you guys. I know there's a lot of kids who might be watching this, but I know a lot of you older gamers like myself are probably looking at this too. So stay bearded, stay friendly, be great gamers, and get good because I know I'm trying like crazy. All right, folks, we're going to see you in another episode. Have a good night, and hopefully my son calms down. <laughs>